So in this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp messages to new Salesforce lead. Now, suppose guys, you are a business owner and you are using Salesforce as a CRM application to manage all your leads and contact. And you want that whenever a new lead is added in Salesforce, you want to send a welcome message on the WhatsApp to the same lead automatically. So let me tell you how you can set up this automation. So the trigger of this automation will be adding or getting a new lead in Salesforce CRM. An action will be sending the WhatsApp message to the same lead using Interact. So Interact is one of the official business APIs of WhatsApp using which you can send a WhatsApp message. And to do this guys, to set up this automation, we are going to use Public Connect, which is an automation and integration platform. So how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Salesforce to interact. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to connect our Salesforce CRM with Pavli Connect so that every time we receive a new lead in Salesforce, automatically the details of that new lead will be received inside Pavli Connect. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send these details to Interact. And from Interact, we are going to send a WhatsApp message to the new lead, which was added in our Salesforce CRM. That too, automatically. So how it is done? Let's see. Now here in Trigger window, in Choose App, search for Salesforce. Just select it. And then in Trigger Event from the dropdown, we have to select the Trigger Event as New Lead. Just select it. Click on Connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Salesforce CRM with Public Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Salesforce button. And you will see because I have already logged into my Salesforce CRM account in my browser, Public Connect has detected the same account. Just click on this allow button and we will see our Salesforce CRM account will get connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, the only thing it asks us is the instance URL. So now you must be thinking, how can you get this instance URL? The help text says, get your instance from setup left sidebar company profile and company information, then search for instance and it look like AP16. So what we have to do, we have to basically enter this kind of URL over here in this instance URL field. And in this URL, before dot Salesforce, we have to actually enter the instance of our Salesforce account. Now to get your instance, the, to get the instance of your Salesforce account, just go to Salesforce, go to setup. After coming to the setup page from the left sidebar, click on company profile and go to company information. And after coming to this company information page, here you can see AP16. This is the instance of my Salesforce account, AP16. So if your instance is AP16, enter the same in this URL. And this is it. This is, this is the instance URL of your Salesforce account. Now, after entering the instance URL, when you will click on the save and send test request button, automatically the details of the last lead, the most recent lead, which was added in Salesforce will be received inside Public Connect. So before clicking on save and send test request, let's create a test lead in Salesforce. We will go to Salesforce, go to leads and click on new button. Now here guys, at this page, let's enter the details of a new lead. For example, demo user. This is the name of the user. The company is Pabli. The mobile number is, this is the mobile number. So whatever mobile number of a new lead we are going to enter in Salesforce, on the same mobile number, we will send the welcome message on WhatsApp using Interact. And also let's add the email address too. This is the email address. Then let's select the lead status. For example, the status is open, not contacted. So we will be contacting it with WhatsApp. Now here guys, we have other details, other fields for new lead details as well. But right now I'm just ignoring all of these fields and click on save over here. 
After clicking on save, here you can see that just now a new lead is created in Salesforce. And after creating this lead, we will get back to Pavli Connect and click on save and send test request button. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, we will see the details of the same lead that just now we have created in Salesforce, the most recent lead. So we will scroll down and here you can see the status of the lead that is open, not contacted. Then we will scroll down further and we will see the name of the new lead that is demo, demo user, the same name which we have entered while creating new lead in Salesforce. Then here you can see the mobile number of the new lead as well. So we will scroll down. We will see other details like we have a separate response of last name of the lead. We will scroll down further. We have a separate response of first name of the lead as well. And here you can see the email address. So all the details which we are going to enter of a new lead in Salesforce, we will get all of those details inside Pabli Connect. Now here guys, you can see that the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our Salesforce CRM with Pabli Connect so that every time a new lead is created in Salesforce, we will get the details of that new lead inside Pabli Connect workflow over here as well. Now after this, what we have to do, we have to move to step two. And in step two, we want to send a WhatsApp message to this newly added lead. And to do so, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in choose app, search for interact. Just select interact over here. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as sent WhatsApp template message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here in this video, we will be using interact to send WhatsApp messages and nurture our leads. Now here guys, what we have to do, now we have to connect our Interact account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the secret key of our Interact account. So here you must be thinking how you can get this secret key of your Interact account. So to get it, just go to your Interact account. From the left sidebar, just click on this option, gear option and go to settings. After coming to the settings page, click on developer settings. And then here on this developer settings page, you can see the secret key of your Interact account. Just copy this key from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting it, just click on save. And now you can see that our Interact account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the country code, phone number and full phone number. Now here you might have two conditions. Either you just have the 10 digits mobile number of your leads and then you want to send them the WhatsApp message. But to send the WhatsApp message, it is necessary to mention the plus sign with the country code. So here you can do that. You can manually enter the country code over here or the response of country code over here. And then you can enter the 10 digits mobile number of the customer of the leads of the users over here. Or if in the second condition, if you have the complete phone number of the users of the leads, then you can actually ignore these two fields and directly enter the complete mobile number with the plus sign country code and the phone number of the users to whom you want to send the WhatsApp message in this full phone number field. So from Salesforce guys, we have received the complete phone number of the user. Here you can see this response and we are going to map the same response of mobile number over here in this full phone number field. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below from Salesforce responses, select the response of phone number and map it over here. So whatever phone number of a new lead we are going to enter in Salesforce on the same mobile number, we are going to send the WhatsApp message using interact. After entering the phone number, the next thing it asks us is template code name. Now you must be thinking, what are these templates? So templates are basically some predefined WhatsApp messages, which we have already created in Interact. So to send WhatsApp messages using Interact, first we have to create a template in Interact and get that template approved. And after that, we can use that template to send WhatsApp messages to our users. Now here it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple templates in Interact. So here we have to enter the code name of our unique code name of the template that using which template we want to send the WhatsApp message to the user in this automation. So the template which we are going to use in this video on our Interact account is named as new lead. So just open the template in your Interact account and here in the URL section, you can see the template code name after template slash and before slash view new underscore lead. This is the template code name of this particular template, which we are going to use in this video. So just copy it from here and paste it over here. 
Now after this, it is asking us for the language code. Now I have created this template in this language English. So we have to enter the language code of that particular language. So the language code of English is small en. So we have entered it. If you have created template in interact in any other languages which you want to use in Pavli Connect, you have to enter the language code for the same language over here as well. Now the next field, it is asking us header value. Now here in header value guys, in interact while creating the template, you have an option to add any kind of image, video or document as well as the header file with the WhatsApp message which we are sending. And whatever image, video or document you want to send, you want to you have to actually enter the link, the URL of that file over here in this header value. Now here guys, in this template message, I have not added any kind of headers like image, video or document. That is why we are going to ignore this field for now. But just in case, if you create a template inside Interact according to your requirement of an image, video or document, you have to enter the URL, the link of the file which you want to send in place of that header file. Now after header value, the next field asks us body variable values. Now here guys, in this template message in the body, you can see I have added two numbers in double curly braces. This is one and this is two. So here you must be thinking what are these numbers and why I have added them in the template message in this body of the message. Now after hello guys, I wanted to mention the name of the new lead to whom I am sending the WhatsApp message. But the name of the new lead will be keep on changing for every new message which we send. So here guys, this means the name of the lead is a variable. It's a dynamic text which will be keep on changing. And to add these kind of variables or dynamic text messages in the body of the WhatsApp message, we add these variables, these numbers in double curly braces. And we can enter the text in place of these variables over here in public Connect workflow in body variable values. Like for example, after hello, I wanted to mention the first name of the new lead. So here in body variable value, what we are going to do, we will just click here and from the Salesforce responses, we will search for the response of the first name of the lead. Like this is it, this is the response of first name, select it and map it over here. So whatever first name we are going to get from Salesforce, whatever value we are going to map over here, with the same value will be added in the WhatsApp message after hello, which we will be sending. Now after this, here we have another variable, another body field that is do. And here I wanted to mention the name of my team. So for example, I want to mention Pavli over here. So we have written comma Pavli. So no matter how many variables you have, you can add as many variables as you want according to your requirement. And here by adding these comma separate values in the respective manner in the proper sequence, you can change or add the text that what is the text you want to insert in place of the variables in the template message. After entering the body variable values, it is asking us position of CTA button. So if you want, you also have an option to enter some kind of call to action buttons in your template message. And if you are sending some kind of dynamic URL, dynamic link in the call to action button in the template, here you can select the position that what will be the position of the button which you are sending. And also guys, here you have an option to enter the value of that dynamic URL. Right now in this template message, we haven't added any kind of call to action button or dynamic URL. So we are just ignoring these two fields for now. And we will click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a WhatsApp message has been sent to the same new lead which we have just now added in our Salesforce CRM. So guys, let's check the WhatsApp account of the number. We will go to a new tab, access the WhatsApp account. And yes guys, here you can see that on the same number which we have added of a new lead in our Salesforce CRM, a WhatsApp message has been sent, which says hello demo means the same name of a new lead which we have added in Salesforce. Thank you for reaching out to us. We are excited to hear from you and learn more about how we can help you. Our team will be in touch with you shortly to schedule a call and discuss your needs in future details. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns in the meantime. Regards, Pavli team. So here you can see that the first variable value, the name of the lead, and here you can see the second variable value, the name of our team which we have entered over here in Pavli Connect can be seen over here. This means the automation workflow which you have created is working perfectly fine. And now guys, after successfully setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. 
We will go to Salesforce and we are going to create a new lead in Salesforce. Click on new button. Let's enter the name of the lead as for example, test customer. This is the name companies, for example, Pabli. And then let's enter the mobile number. And also the email address. And after entering the email address, just click on this save button. So just now guys, we have added a new lead in our Salesforce CRM. And after adding this lead, we will see within 10 minutes a WhatsApp message will be sent to the same newly added lead on their number. Now it takes approximately 10 minutes because the connection between Salesforce and Pabli Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, every 10 minutes, Pabli Connect will go to a Salesforce account and check for the update, check for the data of a new lead which were added in last 10 minutes. And then it will get those details of a new lead if we have added and this automation workflow will be triggered, it will start. So here guys, what we have to do, we just have to wait for 10 minutes over here. And yes guys, here we have successfully waited for 10 minutes. Now let's check our WhatsApp account. And yes, here you can see that a WhatsApp message in real time has been sent. This is the same name of the lead which we have just now added in our Salesforce CRM. And this is the same template message which we have created in Interact. Now this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working absolutely fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment out your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.